What's up, SOP family? Mike Guyomi back at you. Episode number two of our new series, FIFA 22 Liga MX. And we're doing an MLS team in Liga MX. That MLS team is Toronto FC. Thanks for coming back. Hit that like button, subscribe button as well, so you don't miss any of our awesome soccer content. Let's get right into the transfers and maybe even a few games from the uh, from the North American All Stars tournament right after the intro. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a few players that I want to find and uh, and and buy straight up. Some young guns that are really going to help for the career mode. Of course, you got to do your research with this career mode stuff. And uh, I've got a few guys picked out that I want to go after. A goalkeeper, uh, a forward as well, possibly a midfielder, and a good center back that's coming up. Young and upcoming stars of the game here for FIFA 22 because we're going to need some help here. MLS can't compete with Liga MX. You all know that in the regular season, well, in the CONCACAF Champions League, etc., etc. Let's see how it works here on FIFA 22 when we build up our squad and pick up a few players, sell a few players, and whatnot. All right, so we set up the uh, the scouting network in the last episode. Let's get right in to searching for some of those players. The first up, the the, the striker that I'm looking for here, guys, is uh, is Ramos from Benfica. This guy is uh, supposed to be top-notch, so uh, let's go find this guy and see. I believe he's got a buyout contract uh, release clause of, uh, I think it's uh, Gonzalo Ramos, 20 years old. I believe it's 17 million. Yes, 17 million. So let's shortlist him in the uh, in the transfer hub here so that we'll get all of our guys into the transfer hub and then we'll... Uh, then we'll go through the negotiations and whatnot from that. All right, so Ramos is in the book. Another guy that uh, I've looked at is uh, is in the uh, defender position, Sturgio. This guy looks really, really good. A big-time center back that uh, is playing his trade, I believe, in, uh, in France right now. Leonidas Sturgio, 19 years old. This guy, uh, it says no release clause. Interesting. I thought he had a release clause here, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see what, what we can find here with Leonidas Sturgio, see if we can't get him in. So let's uh, scout him as well. Then another player is uh, goalkeeper Vandervoort. This guy uh, is supposedly the best cheap young goalkeeper in, uh, in the game, playing for Genk over in Belgium. Martin Vandervoort. Vandervoort. There you go. No release clause. Interesting. All right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna shortlist him and see if we can't pull it out here and uh, see what we can find with him. Another player we're looking at is uh, is Carvalho in the midfield and Sesco, a striker. Let's uh, let's find these guys now. While I'm searching for those guys, check out our join options down below as well. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, guys. Whether it's regular soccer content like our regular podcast episodes or uh, if it's our live stream reactions, picks and predictions, FIFA 22 content, turn that bell on so you don't miss any of it. All right, Carvalho. Where is he? Where is he? Fabio Carvalho, 18 years old, playing for Fulham. Scout and shortlist in the transfer hub. All right, then there's one more, Sesco, a striker, young striker. Benjamin Sesco, 18 years old, playing at uh, Red Bull of Salzburg. All right, so those are the five guys we're going to go after here in this window. So now we've got to simulate a little bit and uh, see what we can do. Let's head over to the transfer hub, see if we can't pick up one of these guys right now. Uh, let's see, Ramos. Let's check out Vandevoort here. Looks like this player is unwilling to relocate at this time. Well, son of a... <laughs> All right, well, 
looks like we're not going to be able to get Vandevort here, not uh, right off the bat. But uh, let's see. Yeah, no, not willing to relocate. Son of a pup. All right, what about uh, Sturgio here? Can't sell him. He's too important to his club. Great. Love it. Love it. All right, well, Ramos here, he's got uh, a release clause. Let's approach to buy. Club is not willing to sell this player, but you can pay his release clause of $17 million. This guy is supposed to be really damn good. We need to replace Josie Altidore. So, uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's buy this guy, pay the $17 million release clause, and now let's negotiate a wage. All right, we want him as crucial because he's going to be starting every single game. Length of contract, let's go with five years. All right, he wants three. We'll counter with four. Beat the system. There you go. All right. No, we don't want a release clause in the contract. All right, now for wages, 16000 a week, signing bonus of 155000 and 15 goals gives him 440000 I'm good with that. Sounds good to me. And now we have signed our big-time striker. Love it. Absolutely love to see it. Now we got a couple other guys here. Let's, uh, let's let the scouting reports go in on them. And uh, another keeper that uh, I've looked at as a kind of a backup option is... Uh, I believe it's Lautaro Morales from Lanús. There he is, 21-year-old keeper. Release clause of 10,200,000. Short list, short list him there in the transfer hub. Now you go over to the office there. We got 12.58 million left. Should we just buy the goalie? Uh, I think we should. Let's uh, let's get uh, you know what? Let's give it a couple days here, and uh, let's skip through some of the training right now. We'll do more training during the regular season to build up that squad from that level. So let's uh, simulate and get into a uh, a friendly here. As we've got a couple messages from some of the players I listed on the transfer market. Oh, I'm happy that you tried to sell me. Bullshit, asshole. You're 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 lying. You are lying. All right, let's uh, let's advance the day here. And let's see, Josie Altador transfer offer from Montpelier. Let's get rid of him, huh? All right, so we can go up to twenty-one fifty. Let's negotiate. with Montpellier, Montpellier, that French stuff, all right, now, no, I want more than that, we want 2.1 million, 50,000, advance, submit offer, could we agree on 2 million, nah, we'll counter it 2.1, Let's go with 2.1. All right, there you go. We got 2.1 for Josie Altidore. He's on his way out the door. And we'll see if uh, we'll see how those negotiations go there. All right, let's get through this player chat here. Mullins. I'm looking at options. Keep his morale up a little bit here. Same with Dom Dwyer. Zavaleta. Westberg. Preso. Not really enjoying my football here. All right, well. Alone could help your career. All right, good stuff. Luke Singh. Alone is exactly what I need. Perfect. Okello. Glad we agree. And then there's Michael Bradley. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to Toronto FC. The future's exciting, and you're not going to be a part of it, Michael Bradley. How about that? All right. Now, 
Let's get back here. Let's get to our first game. All right, so let's uh, let's play our first game here, and uh, let's make some moves on the roster to uh, to get guys we're trying to get rid of that we listed. So uh, Josie Altador, forget him; he's on the way out. Let's uh, let's bring in our new signing Ramos up top. Now we want to get a uh, a loan for some of these guys. Let's put Singh in on the back there for Bradley. Uh, Gonzalez we're trying to get rid of. Here, let's go with uh, a left back. Let's put J-Mo in just to get his confidence up right now. Then in the midfield, Okello. We've got Okello going out on loan. Oso staying. So let's put in, uh, let's put in, say, Schaffelberg, okay? Even though he's not really a DM spot. Um, then we've got, uh, let's go maybe with Dwyer because we're trying to get rid of the Dom Dwyer over here. And uh, then in the attacking mid position, let's get uh, Pozuelo out. Let's put in De Leon so that he can uh, get some 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 action there and possibly bring in a uh, possibly bring in a transfer. Same thing. Let's take Soteldo out and put in Nelson. All right. So there you go. We've got kind of a start, a good starting eleven there, guys. We're trying to get moved in the transfer market and let's play a game so while we wait for that to load up guys check out our sponsors bet us telling you guys check it out link is in the description hit that bet us link in the description and go get 125 percent sign up bonus on your first deposit if you're a sports better you want to make some money on soccer, watch Sons of a Pitch Soccer Central and head over to BetUS and make those bets with my picks and predictions. We are going to bank like we always do. All right, so now we got the game starting. We'll put the, uh, the audio up for the game. And turn my audio well, down. It's always a joy to be in this particular city, Vancouver, and this particular venue, BC Place. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the first group stage game in the North American All Stars Trophy. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This is their first preseason game. Time for players to get their match fitness, coaches to develop tactics, new signings to be integrated, and maybe youngsters to. It should be! And tipping it over the crossbar. Corner oh, yeah, awarded. Professional stuff. It ain't easy, man. Not for me. Mihailovic with the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Run off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Well, we've been following the changes at the club with a good deal of interest. New manager at the helm. Obviously, all smiles and handshakes before kickoff. But you do feel, don't you, it's vital he gets off to a quick start. Well, as with any new manager, he'll want to get his ideas across very quickly. It's just whether the players are willing to adapt to his style of play. Today will give us a good indication. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's doing? a chance. Wrong pass, then. Wrong what a genuine pass. opportunity, but it was squandered. Go kick. Well, uh, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, they needed to reinforce up front, to be honest. They were looking a little light, and there's going to be big expectations on him to hit the ground running. Hopefully, he doesn't disappoint. Oh, good-looking run. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Ibrahim. Moving it forward. And options in the centre. And the problem not completely solved. Well, it came to nothing in the end. 
Room to maneuver on the wing. And a fine cross. Oh, point well, blank save. Magnificently. And they have possession again. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Firing it oh, another goal. big save and on getting Dwyer. Across to stop it. Poor damn Don Dwyer can't score for nothing. He's driven in the corner. Well, oh, big save on Otolo's header. One, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Horrible pass. Ah, How far turn. from the ideal Bad pass, turn. you've got to say. This looks promising. Crossed into the penalty area. Not away completely. Excellent challenge. Can he finish? Nice save, Westberg. Nice and save. What a magical save it was. Playing it in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Wanyama. Can he give them the lead? Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? And there the attack ends for now. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. Ah, oh, Shaft trying to make one of those long runs like he does for TFC well, he's a lot. Lost it. Chances on. A goal! Uh, They've opened the scoring in the derby. Going down to the rival the always you can hear hurts. A pin drop in here. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward just let is them run devastating. Right down the it's so hard to Horrible defend. defending there from the goal, just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Trying to do the A same thing tackle. there, Jake Nelson. All right, guys. So half the whistle time then. it is. Got half time here. Got to, you know, make sure the uh, the FIFA music doesn't come through on the on the YouTube stream or else they, uh, they hit you with the copyright on that piece. So uh, you just got me here for this one. Should we make any subs at the half? Uh, let's take a look at who we got on the bench, see if we've got anybody we're trying to uh, get rid of. And uh, as of right now, all those guys, maybe Endo. Uh, let's bring on Endo as a right mid for Dom Dwyer because he's playing like trash. And uh, there we go. That'll be the one sub we'll make for this one. And let's get it back at it. Second half, see if we can't catch up to Montreal here. For Toronto FC. Coming off the, the two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Number 31. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Ooh, that was dangerous. Did his job. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he hasn't had an effect on the game so oh, far. Oh, Stewart's a chance! That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. It has to be! He's blocked it!
And here's Torres. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. And into the last 30 minutes now. Oh, Just cutting off the supply. Couldn't get there. 63rd minute. TFC's got to wake the hell up. Oh, He's come on, chance. Omar Gonzalez. What the fuck? Oh, Increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Professional stuff. Well, a second goal for them here. Especially with a, a crappy squad here is uh, not easy. And a good take under duress there. played over but no one can latch on to the ball well it looks so promising can but we a get goal back in the this outcome well, well away, such as the loss of an attacking away, player away, some days it works for you on other days not at all Stuart yeah I've been really disappointed with him today Derek he just hasn't looked himself but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service has he Posuelo. Can he finish? Oh, Ramos. To Great through ball still from Posuelo. This game. Well, yeah, Ramos the can't put it home. This. As it is, they're going to struggle now. And he read it superbly. on the scent of something positive crossed accurately towards the far post well the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all in actual fact oh could be oh and god is, three nothing Montreal it's a beat down Well, here it is again, and having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Kyoto. This looks more than decent. It needs an accurate cross. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. And there's the delivery. Marvellous anticipation. Well, not great from the keeper. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. And the play stopped. They will make the change now. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, come My on. Goodness, the importance a little of bit better of a pass was that not lost on the keeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Chance, maybe. Much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, oh, Derek. While the result was poor, the display was even worse. What they the never hell? got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in right the game. Right as we try and get game. one just for a little, little bit of improving before the next love, time out. And no, can't get it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, so there you go. That's uh, not a good start for TFC in career mode. That's for damn sure. And, uh, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's make some moves. Let's get these transfers rolling here. And, uh, and hopefully things will look a little bit better for TFC and Sons of a Pitch Soccer Central in this Liga MX career mode. All right. So let's, uh, let's advance a little bit, see if we can't get another transfer offer in for somebody. All right. All right. So Altidore is sold. That's good. We add a little bit more to our bank there. 
And we've got a message here. I know that eventually you're going to be looking for a new striker. I think I can do the job for you if you give me the chance. Uh, let's see. It'll take some hard work, I'll. It's going to take some hard work, my man. All right. So the next game up, let's, uh, let's save this. You know what? And let's uh, let's go buy a goalkeeper. We need we, we need that keeper, man. Let's see if we can uh, if we can get Morales here. All right. So if we pay the release clause, we can get him. Release clause is ten two. We need a damn good goalie. We need a uh, we need a goalie. But again, I don't know. I, I, you look at these goalies, and uh, you, you're not. You can probably find somebody in from the youth system that can be really damn good. So I think that's the route we want to go for the goalkeeper. I don't know if I want to spend ten million here on uh, on this guy. Although we could maybe buy him for right now, and then we'll uh, once we buy him, we can let him ride out as the goalie for a year or two, maybe, and then sell him once we get a young keeper behind him. Um, that's something as well, or we can keep the money for, uh, you know, for some other players like some midfielders or defenders. So with that being said, we're going to end this episode. Now we got a few of the transfers rolling. We got a game in under our belt. It was not a pretty game at all. Next episode, we're going to be talking about more transfers. We're going to find a few more guys to go after. And then on top of that, we're going to play another game in this North American all-star trophy and try and get some more money for our transfers. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Peace.